when she heard that obina had come to marry kamsi she was so furious and decided within herself to marry obina no matter what nene's eyes were filled with tears as she could not believe that she was now married to obina's father once upon a time there lived a girl named kamsi kamsi was the second daughter of mazi kanayo who was a popular businessman in the village she had two sisters named nene and chika and kamsi loved her family so much she always assisted her mother to the local market as her friendly presence had a way of attracting customers to her mother's market stall. One morning, Kamsi was about heading to the local market when two men walked towards her, requesting to speak with her father. Kamsi asked who they were, and as they were about replying her question, her father walked out of his hut and caught sight of them. The men exchanged pleasantries with her father, Mazi Kanayo, and Kamsi continued on her way to the market. By evening when she returned, she was told that the men who came visiting that morning had come to ask for her hand in marriage. Kamsi was shocked as she had never seen the men before. However, this was not entirely shocking as many women in their village got married to men who they had never seen before what had happened was that the man who wanted to marry kamsi had seen her one afternoon when he was buying some items from the market he saw a poor beggar approach kamsi to ask for some food and without hesitation kamsi gave the poor beggar her food and the young man on seeing how kind and loving she was made up his mind to marry her kamsi was however unaware of this as the young man never approached her or made any effort to talk to her the next morning the men were to return to introduce themselves to kamsi and the thought of this filled kamsi with fear as she never envisioned herself getting married soon her younger sister chica was so excited for her but this was not the case with nene her elder sister who seemed grumpy and sad nene approached their father mazi kanayo to voice her displeasure about her younger sister kamsi getting married before her in their village a first daughter in a family was supposed to get married first before her younger ones the villagers saw it as a way of respecting the first daughters. This is however not a law as many families have allowed their younger children marry before their first daughter. It is only an issue when the first daughter objects to the idea of her younger one marrying before her. In situations of this sort, the father is to either cancel the marriage plans pending when his first daughter is married or offer his first daughter to the suitor who has come to marry his younger daughter. The next morning, the young man arrived Kamsi's home to formally introduce himself to her family. Kamsi caught sight of the young man and fell head over heels in love with him. He was so handsome and charming with a warm smile that captivated her heart. During the introduction, Kamsi learned that the young man's name was Obina and he was the only son of his father, Chief Wachuku, who was a respected elder in the community. Obina was well educated and had a successful career in the city and he expressed his desire to settle down with Kamsi. Kamsi's father, Mazi Kanayo, then went on to voice his concerns, saying, that his first daughter Nene was still unmarried. He told Obina and his father that he would only marry Kamsi off when Nene is married and suggested that he marries Nene instead of Kamsi.
Kamsi on hearing this was heartbroken as she had already fallen in love with Obina. She retired to her room sad as she could not believe that her father was about to marry her elder sister Nene to a man who came to ask for her own hand in marriage. By nightfall, when the young man and his father had retired back to their home, Kamsi was informed of Obina's decision to marry Nene who seemed extremely excited. What Kamsi did not know was that her sister Nene had fallen deeply in love with Obina. When she heard that Obina had come to marry Kamsi, she was so furious and decided within herself to marry Obina no matter what. That was why she approached her father to voice her displeasure as she knew that her father would make an offer to Obina to marry her instead if she informed him of how uncomfortable she was with her younger sister getting married before her. Nene was so happy that her plan had finally worked. She began to make plans for her wedding, not minding the hurt she had caused to her younger sister Kamsi. Kamsi, although sad, decided to be happy for her sister as she loved and respected Nene so much. Preparations were now being made for the marriage ceremony and Nene was over the moon as she could not wait to get married to Obina. The day of the marriage ceremony arrived and everyone was excited, including Kamsi who was initially supposed to get married that day. A few hours later, Obina's father arrived alone. He informed Nene and her family that his son was yet to arrive the village as he traveled to the city the previous day to sort out some urgent matters. Obina's father, however, assured them that his son would soon arrive as they all had to be patient and wait. Nene on hearing this became calm as she patiently waited for Obina to arrive. Hours passed, but Obina had still not arrived. Nene and her parents were now getting worried as night was fast approaching. Obina's father then suggested that he represent his son in the ceremony, considering the fact that it was almost getting dark. In their village, a relative of the groom is allowed to stand in for the groom in cases where the groom is unable to be present for one reason or the other. So since it was almost getting dark, Obina's father decided to step in and represent his son to ensure that the marriage ceremony was conducted on the agreed date. Nene and her family agreed to his suggestion and the marriage ceremony was conducted as Obina's father stepped in for his son, the groom, to perform all the marital rites. After all the marital rites were conducted, Nene was then escorted to her husband's house. She was so excited as she could not wait to set her eyes on her husband. Filled with excitement, Nene waited for her husband to arrive, but Obina was nowhere to be found. Tired and exhausted, Nene slept and woke up in the morning and realized that Obina was still nowhere to be found. Worried that something might have happened to him, Nene approached his father to voice her concerns and his father assured her that Obina would soon arrive. For days, Nene patiently waited for her husband, but there was no sign of him. Nene, now a married woman, faced each day with a mix of anxiety and disappointment. The villagers, initially happy for the union, began to murmur about the strange circumstances surrounding Obina's absence. After a few weeks, Obina arrived the village and Nene was so excited to see him. She embraced him tightly, asking where he had been all this while. And Obina, with sadness in his voice, told Nene that he was not interested in marrying her. He told her that he decided not to show up because he could not lie to himself by getting married to her when truly the woman he loved was her younger sister Kamsi. 
Nene's eyes were filled with tears as she could not believe that she was now married to Obina's father. This was something she feared all this while, but took the risk as she hoped that Obina would come and claim her as his wife. In their village, once a person steps in to represent their relative in a marriage ceremony, the relative who was represented in the marriage is to show up and claim his wife because if this is not done, the woman would automatically be declared the wife of the person who represented his relative in the wedding ceremony. In this case, since Obina is not willing to claim Nene as his wife, what this means is that Nene would automatically be married to Obina's father, Chief Wachuku. Nene on hearing this became devastated as she never envisioned that everything would turn out this way. She approached her father saying that she was no longer interested in the marriage but her father, although sad for what had happened, informed her that it was too late as Chief Wachuku had already performed all her traditional marital rights. Obina, on seeing that Nene was now married to his father, approached Mazi Kanayo to ask for Kamsi's hand in marriage. Mazi Kanayo was now torn between his love for his two daughters as he knew that Obina was genuinely and deeply in love with Kamsi and not Nene. Mazi Kanayo at this juncture knew that rejecting Obina's proposal to marry Kamsi would be denying his second daughter genuine love and happiness. So Mazi Kanayo had no other option but to agree to Obina's request to marry Kamsi. Kamsi, who had been silently enduring the turn of events, found herself torn between love and loyalty to her family. Obina, sincere in his affections for Kamsi, reassured her that their love would overcome the challenges that they may face in the future. The villagers were all shocked at the unexpected twist of events and couldn't help but talk about the peculiar circumstances that unfolded in Nene's marriage and the subsequent proposal from Obina to Kamsi. As preparations for Kamsi and Obina's wedding began, the village was now buzzing with gossip and speculations. Nene, ashamed of her wicked actions towards her sister, remained indoors as she reflected on her life and nursed her wounds. Kamsi, torn between her sister's feelings and her own desires, decided to seek the wise counsel of her mother, Ezine. Ezine was a woman filled with so much wisdom. She advised her daughter to follow her heart and to pursue the path that leads to her true happiness. So Kamsi, following the wise counsel of her mother, decided to marry Obina, despite being empathetic for her sister, Nene. Nene, having had time to reflect on her actions, approached her family to apologize for being selfish. She admitted her faults and expressed regret for the pain she caused her sister, Kamsi. Her father, Mazi Kanayo, understanding the complexities of human emotions, forgave his daughter, hoping that the lessons learned would guide her in her future choices. That was how Nene remained married to Obina's father, whilst Kamsi got married to the love of her life, Obina. The lesson to be learned from this story is that true happiness lies in following one's heart. We should always remember that our selfish actions have a way of reshaping destinies, so we should be careful not to act out of envy and jealousy as we may just be the victims of our own evil plots. In the end, true love will always prevail, so it is important to prioritize sincerity, empathy and understanding in our relationships. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.